Hey guys, what's up? So today we're going to be looking at variables, guys. And it says here, as stated previously, when we collect information, which is used statistically, we usually want to find out about a particular characteristic of a group of people or items. And that's true, right? And the particular characteristic in which we are interested in is called the variable. Okay. So basically, whatever we want to find out about, that's the variable, okay? And the variable is usually, the, the variable usually changes from one member of the group to the other, okay? So variables can be divided into two main types, qualitative and quantitative, right? And it says a qualitative variable is defined as a variable which describes a characteristic, for example, short, average height, tall, funny, or very funny. And these things will definitely change uh, based on the country you're in. Cool. And quant quantitative, for a quantitative variable, a quantitative variable can be defined as a variable which can be given a numeric value. So, for example, 300 people, all right, that's a quantitative variable. Uh, $10,000, that's another quantitative variable. Uh, because these are physical quantities and you don't expect them to change. Um, they're not basically an adjective or anything like the qualitative type. Now, these two definitions are also important. CXE would want you to know the difference between these. A discrete variable is one with a concrete or finite value. So, once again, um, 1000 US, right? 1,000 US is actually usually referred to as a brick. Uh, that's supposed to be a joke. <laughs> um, that's considered a discrete variable. And a continuous variable is a qualitative variable which is constantly changing, right? So for a continuous variable now, um, for example, a child's height, right? Between between four and 13. Now, this is definitely a continuous variable because the height of the child is gonna change between four and 13, right? And we know that definitely happens. Uh, kids go from little small fireballs into, into big fires, you know? And that's how it really goes. So, we know what's continuous, we know what a continuous variable is, we know what a discrete variable is, um, and we have qualitative and quantitative variables. And that's pretty much the definition for the variable, guys. Um, I want to do some examples first before we move on. So let's just look at some examples, okay? All right, guys. So let's look at an example here. I really like this example. And we're going to look at variables and what type of variables these are, okay? And remember the definition for a variable is the particular characteristic we are interested in. That's what's called the variable. Okay. All right. So let's, let's look at example one. Right. So we're looking at the height of a football or a soccer player between the ages of 10 to 21 years old. And this is definitely quantitative because you can measure the height of the person over the time period. And it definitely would be and also continuous because this actually changes, right? Because anybody who is 10 years old, they're definitely going to grow between 10 and 21 years old. Uh, some people even grow as far as up to 26 years old for male adults. And number two says the size of your computer screen in length from one diagonal to the next, right? Um, so that would basically be from, let me just draw a line here to show you what I mean. That would literally be from here all the way to here. And that's how people usually measure the size of a laptop. They usually say 26.5 inches. And that's usually what they mean. They mean the diagonal. Cool. So for this, the variable is actually, um, it's also quantitative because you can count it, right? So it's quantitative. And it's actually discrete because it's not going to change. Um, you're not going to change your laptop screen size uh, or your computer screen 
uh, right. I really doubt that you change your screen size. And if you do, it's still going to be discrete, meaning it's not going to change gradually over time um, or as time goes. So it's definitely not continuous and it's quantitative as well. And the last one says the description for the height of a tree. Is it short, tall, average, huge, or gigantic? And this is clearly um, qualitative. Um, yes. And yes, it's qualitative. And that's about it. I don't need to say whether it's discrete or continuous. It's just qualitative in this case. Um, right, because what may be considered short, tall, average, huge, and gigantic may actually change um, from country to country. Uh, what what I may consider huge or gigantic tree in Jamaica may actually be a very small tree um, in the Amazon forest, right? Or or in places even in California, right? Uh, there are some places in the United States with some very very large trees. Um, so definitely. Um, that one is just qualitative. So I think we got an, we'll get an idea. We'll have a discrete idea <laughs> of this variable thing. Um, and variables are important in life, guys. Um, we're actually going to do uh, algebra related to variables. Um, when we do algebra, for example, if you have A plus B, A and B are variables, right? It's the characteristic we're interested in. Uh, but in this case with algebra, these are just unknown, right? So variables are wonderful, um, and you'll get used to the whole the the connotation, you know, the words that we use in mathematics. Variables are really important, guys. All right, so I'll see you in the next lecture, which should be frequency tables, and that's going to be an interesting one. So looking forward to seeing you guys. That's it, and. I'll see you in the next lecture and remember to do your best and God will do the rest.